little bit there's this news courtesy of the times which is annoying to say the least which says this june 21st lockdown lifting set to be delayed by a fortnight which is you know and you know you you got the two horsemen of the apocalypse right here right in uh sir patrick valance and chris Whitty, right in center of the article so it says the following Britain's roadmap for easing lockdowns could be delayed by a fortnight with cabinet ministers increasingly pessimistic about the downbeat briefing from Chris Whitty and Sir Patrick Valance. The delay will enable all over 50s to be fully vaccinated and leave the sufficient time for jabs to take effect before restrictions are lifted. Whitty, the chief uh, medical officer of England, Valance, the chief scientific advisor, said they gave a briefing to ministers on the latest data that was described as fairly grim. <laughs> Oh, it never ends. They have, they emphasize concerns about the rate of transmissions of the new strains of coronavirus, such as the Indian variant, which is again, there's going to be so many variants that are just going to keep on popping up. What are we going to do? We're going to keep ourselves in. Like I just don't understand. This makes sense. We're just meant to stay indoors until all variants are eradicated. That's near near nigh on impossible. I would imagine for that to happen, or for that scenario even to come to fruition. Right? Continues here. It says such as the Indian variant that the vaccine did not provide 100% protection for, millions of Britons remain unvaccinated. Um, one cabinet source said that they expected to be a delay between two weeks and a month, but suggested that the political fallout was likely to be limited as long as a full reopening took place before the start of school summer holidays late next month. Bruv, I could give a fuck about a school summer holiday. Let me free. Let me have freedom. Another said that the delay made more sense than the partial lifting of a lockdown restrictions to avoid any confusion in messaging. Okay, so I'm assuming one option would be again this is all rumors i guess one option could be instead of telling everybody hey go out and do what you want it could be a one option where you permit some things within you know reason and then the rest later on but then some people are saying the messaging will be mixed up so you're better off just saying delay it two weeks or just open things up there is no middle ground which is makes complete sense but i just don't get what difference really two weeks or a month is going to make overall to the landscape that we're in at now at the moment if there is really again i'm dubious about these concerns with these other variants i still think variants are you know gonna always unfortunately pop up there was a if i'm not mistaken wasn't there like a thailand virus or something from southeast asia right another variant that popped up out of the blue so there's always going to be some sort of variant that's going to pop up I'm not sure how they kind of you know manifest and how they come to be that's obviously way above my intellect, uh, intellectual capacity, but I would imagine going forward that two weeks um, delay or a month delay doesn't necessarily make that much change when it comes to um, people, you know, unfortunately contracting Corona. It does, doesn't make any sense because there's no guarantee that the uptake in people getting vaccinated is going to drastically improve within the four weeks. If they're worried about people going out right now, that means that so far maybe the vaccination uptake is kind of, plateaued which is probably why they may have opened it up to more age groups i don't know but it doesn't feel like it really makes any sense to be completely honest this just feels like they're trying to make sure that we're above like you know 98 percent compliance or safety before reopening things but it just doesn't feel like that's sensible it feels like we're always going to be within some level of risk we've kind of got to this great point now at the moment despite how poorly we started with our response to covid like we should take this victory and try to make the best of it unfortunately there's going to be some again people who won't be as fortunate going forward but this is just one of those cold hard realities you have to face as a government isn't it you're going to have to make a decision because they're going to have to make it one way or the other what number is enough what number will they are they willing to accept in terms of cases and deaths for us to get back to normal that has to just be a conversation especially now with the variants especially now with you know basically you know every adult being offered a, a vaccination in some way shape or form it just doesn't make any sense people are really not going to have it i think it's going to cause a lot of turmoil and again it's another conniving thing because it feels like purposely the tory government have been quite clever they've got another good praise and all the good sort of pr and feedback from the june 21st thing and now as we get closer to it they're now telling us that hey that probably won't happen and then by that time everyone's just thankful that we've got some level of freedom right so again we're in this weird position where we're like you know um clapping and saying thank you to the government for allowing us to go to dinner and go to pubs and stuff which is insane but hey we're well, here we are and then if they delay it by two weeks people are gonna be like you know what it's okay we get it because we've just been it feels like people have just been ground down people have lost the will to fight and to really make a noise don't get me wrong i'm not you know 
condoning people to start going outside and doing like those like, anti-vax white lads and start protesting in the side of flipping asda or anything but there needs to be some level of pushback from the public in some way shape or form like come on like this is enough like do you know what i mean with vaccination numbers are pretty high people are getting jabbed up in the front center stuff is reopening people are looking like you know some industries especially hospitality especially within my space within the clubbing scene are gearing up for this big monumentous occasion to reopen their doors get some money in the tail and kind of you know get a smile back on people's faces and now they're all in stuck in limbo hoping that next monday we have some good news it's just not on really man it continues it said the prime minister spokesman um said that while that there was nothing in the data to suggest that the restrictions could not be eased on june 21st the government would look closely at the case numbers and hospitalizations johnson is expected to make a formal announcement on monday when government social distancing review will be published on june 21st the government hopes to end all social distancing meaning that venues such as pubs restaurants uh, would no longer require to enforce a one meter plus rule the rule of six indoor gatherings will be lifted and nightclubs will be allowed to return the 30 person limit on events including weddings will be lifted and the rules of wearing face coverings and guidance on working from home so there's a lot riding on that monday's announcement a really a lot riding and i don't know to be honest would am i surprised that there's been some sort of you know bump along the road probably not i was still one of those people that said if you had booked a holiday or whatever something in the beginning of lockdown and you know you needed to go away somewhere i was one of those people that said you know what just take the advantage of whatever freedom you're given in this you know in the moment and just make the most of it don't kind of like plan too far ahead in the future with like holidays in september october all this kind of thing because you don't know where the world's going to be and things can just change you know on a constant basically two week basis and all the time so with that in mind i'm not surprised that there has been some kind of bump in the road it's just again just a bummer more so forget myself as being a customer of these places but i can just imagine if you're an operator right you're an owner of a club in the restaurant or bar whatever a theater and you're just about you know managed to hang on until now and you're kind of seeing the light in the tunnel and you're hoping they can just hang on a couple more weeks before you can reopen your doors and get things back started again right and have put the destiny back in your own hands and be able to kind of pay your bills through your own sweat of your own brow instead of you know sitting around waiting for furloughs and stuff whatever right and that's been a position where suddenly that could all be just pulled away from you and you have no real say in it you have you know no real way to can you know to come to kind of argue against it no real way to fight against it nothing you just have to kind of sit and wait for the government to tell you when and when you're allowed to you know be able to make a living support your family support your community provide a place for your employees to work you know it's just a wild situation to be in it really really is wild um, again it's only rumors now hopefully things can change because like i said i've had enough of all this nonsense but it's not looking optimistic man it's not looking optimistic